you need to make a really fucking cool game as fast as you can. Somebody get a ground in here. We just need to get things started. All right, team, we're keeping it simple, making ourselves a horde shooter. Let's get ourselves some enemies in here. Get the player in there too, because our enemies aren't gonna be chasing themselves. Set up four spawn points, one on each corner of the ground. We're gonna keep our player's head spinning. Give these enemies a health system and give our player a simple ray cast gun. All right, show me what you got. Good, where are we at? 16 minutes, sir. All right, back to work. We need to make sure that this horde is building over time. Make sure it's tracking how many enemies our player kills. And for every X amount of enemies killed, we need to increase that spawn rate. What are we starting at? One enemy every three seconds. All right, so every wave should make that spawn rate decrease by half a second. I want it to hit a point where we're cranking out one enemy every second. But sir, what? What if the CPU can't handle it? We're just gonna have to cross that bridge when we get to it. What's happening here? Currently, we don't have player health and our enemies don't do damage. Well then get it in there. Good, what are we at? Just over half an hour. Shit. All right, let's start getting assets in there. Yes, sir. Sir, what is it? Mixamo is down. Refresh the page. We did, again, don't fucking do this to me. Refresh. It's back up. All right, keep moving, team. Get those animations in. I want a wobbly idle. I want a creepy lumbering run and make sure those arms are nice and wide like they're really gonna get you and give me a punch animation. All right, show me what you got. Very good, very good. Wait, pause? What the fuck is that? Why do they keep punching? Found the problem, animation event wasn't fully set up. Sorry about that, sir. Not a problem, son. Will someone give the player a fucking gun model, please? Thank you. Give me some muzzle flashes in here too. And a death animation. And while you're at it, put some bullet impacts in there. Let's get this level built out. Give me a room with two entrances. Put some shelves in there and make them interactable so the player can use them to block doors. And make sure these enemies can tear them down with enough time. That's a mighty fine looking horde we have. Next up, grenades. I want to throw them and I want them to explode and I want the explosion to insta-kill enemies that are close enough. All right, it works, but it's, it's missing something. Take these models in a blender, chop them up. Give me a torso and a head and limbs all separated. I want every enemy to have these limbs ready to go so when they explode, their main body mesh deactivates and all these body parts activate. Give them all rigid bodies so they tumble around the scene and knock into shit. A and get a nice blood particle pack to put on these body parts. Make this place a mess. That's great, that's great. I have, I have an idea, I have an idea. Program the severed head to roll toward the player and bite them and give the head its own health system so you have to kill these sons of bitches twice. <laughs> That's beautiful, that's beautiful. All right, time to add civilians. We just need them to hide places and look scared. And when they see an enemy, they run in the opposite direction. So we're gonna need a scared idle animation, a tired run animation, a trip and fall animation, and an animation for our enemies when they're eating the fallen civilians alive. Good, 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 good. Poor bastards, poor bastards. Will someone fix that animation offset? Yeah, 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 just like that. Better, better. Holy shit, this is a mess. Are you fucking kidding me? Will someone fix this? And make sure these civilians are turning into zombies after they get caught. Next, I'm gonna need a prefab for a single city block. Give it some alleyways and little places to hide and cut in and out of. Now take that city block and give me a three by three grid for our city. Can we see what this looks like with a different time of day? It's not bad. All right. Maybe we could do something this later, but let's keep the daytime look. I'm tired of these death animations. Give these NPCs colliders on their limbs so we can get some ragdoll action and body part specific hit damage. Whoa, 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 I thought we were over this punching shit. All right, let's get in some system where the player can wrangle these NPCs. Think Half-Life scientists combined with Pikmin. So you tapping the key will just wrangle whichever NPC you're aiming at, so they'll follow you. But holding the key will do a general call out to tell all NPCs in a certain radius to follow you. And make sure this is alerting the enemies too, since presumably the player character is shouting out at the top of their lungs. Okay, give me some low poly helicopters. We need to set up a system for these NPCs to get rescued. 